Hey guys, I, I figured I should probably front this skit with a trigger warning. That's how you know it's a good one. It goes right off the bat with Remy in a panic attack, although it is more him successfully managing to at least begin to calm himself down with a breathing technique. Till Katie comes in, talks about the day he left his parents for a second, uh, talks about Katie's parents' deaths, uh, suicidal thoughts, savior complexes, it's... It, yeah, it's not, it's not a fun ride. Hope you enjoy my first fully scripted skit, and let's hop into the Kate and Remy fight. Remy, I'm gonna. What's wrong? <laughs> Just try to breathe, then, okay? What does it look like I'm doing? Okay, okay, calm. What's the matter? Nothing. It's not nothing. You can tell me. It's nothing, okay? I'm fine. You're never fine. Well, this time I am, so. Stop lying to me. Drop it. No! Kate! Not until you. Fuck off! <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. God. Can you just... Just back off for like five minutes. I'm just trying to help. Yeah, well, I can't fucking breathe when you're right there crowding me all the goddamn time. Okay, sorry I'm worried about you. Oh, don't fucking start. No, you started it. I'm just looking out for you. It's not just looking out for me anymore. You overreact to everything. I do not. I'm doing it right now. I was triggered by something in my book. I was calming myself down. So it wasn't nothing. Jesus Christ, let me fucking talk. I will when you promise to stop lying. Oh, you do not want to know what I'm actually thinking right now, sweetheart. Just try me. You know what? Okay. All right. Yeah, you asked for it. You're fucking insane, Kate. <laughs> I'm insane? Yeah. I'm sitting here breathing and you're acting like I got a fucking gun to my head. Maybe it's because I'm scared. Did you ever think of that? I'm scared that one day I'm going to come in here and find you dead because you did something stupid. So I'm sorry if it's annoying that I care about you. Oh, please, you know that's not what I'm saying. I just want you to fucking listen to me and leave me alone. We both know what happens when you're left alone oh like this. Oh my god, stop! Fucking Christ, I'm not suicidal 24-7. I'm not gonna have one panic attack and then run out onto a highway. Use your fucking mind. I am. And I'm thinking that my friend with a history of attempting before is in a very stressful situation that could push him to do it again. What, do you think suffocating me is gonna fix that? I'm trying to suffocate you. And stop overreacting to every negative emotion I have. I can't. Why the hell not? Because last time I underreacted, every time I had to talk you off a fucking roof. I'm tired. And I'm scared. And I'm sorry if my hovering is coming off as suffocating, but it makes me feel better. Gah. Yeah. Right. Okay. You're tired. You're scared. Watching me like a fucking vulture makes you feel better. I'm no, newsflash, sweetheart. I'm fucking scared. I lost my parents, my home, and basically everything I own in the span of an hour. You have no idea how fucking terrifying that is. Yes, I- No, you fucking don't. Hey, I lost my parents too, you know. Yeah, when you were what, two? Not even? And they died, Kate. Mine are perfectly fucking fine. Ten minutes from here, they just didn't want me. You know what they said to me before I left? I mean- It was a fucking disgrace to our name. My mother? She said that my sister ruined me as a baby and that I was too far gone to fix. My father called me the F-slur maybe, I don't know, a dozen times and then broke his fucking plate over my head. You are lucky that you were just died before you had to deal with something like that. My parents loved me. You have the luxury of knowing that'll never change. Because they died before you were old enough to disappoint them. Maybe you're not thinking straight. <laughs> I'm not thinking straight. Wow, okay, at least I don't have a fucking savior complex. I don't have a fucking savior complex. Yes, you fucking do. Okay, every time there's a problem, Katie has to solve it. What, there's a random teacher being a dick to M's? She'll go to the principal and get her fired. 
this committee won't pull their weight out. Katie will pull the whole thing together on her own because she's just that good. What, her suicidal freak of a best friend left his parents' house? Ah, oh, don't worry, he can stay with her and she'll threaten his parents to not talk to him while struggling to keep him stable at the same time. Isn't she so fucking amazing? So now I'm supposed to be sorry for helping people? Jesus on the cross, Kate. Stop acting like you just do it to help people. Why do I do it then if you apparently know everything? Because you're still trying to prove to yourself and everybody else that you deserve to survive that accident. You know, if you were fine, you wouldn't be saying that. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not anymore, Catherine. Is he going to just come in here, snap me out of a panic attack, scream at me for ten minutes, and then I'll be able to keep my tenuous grip on the poser? Get off your high horse, Remington Yusuf. You yelled at me first. Sh shit, Rems. I just leave me alone, you fucking control freak. <sighs> Look. This is obviously just going to keep going in circles. I'm gonna go to Patty's to help him with wedding planning, okay? Okay. We can talk about this later after you've calmed down. Once I've calmed down? After we've both calmed down.